This is Andy Perroir for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm joined by Dave Allen. Dave, a successful night, victorious over Dorian Darch, third round knockout, straight into it. How would you assess your performance? Um, you know what, I was, the plan was to do six uh, and I just went out there boxing. I think I won the first two rounds, I'd like to think I did. Uh, I boxed really well, I'm a little bit heavy, I've not got to spar. Um, so I felt alright, you know, the third round, Eddie said, Dave, you need to up it a little bit and and I thought there's no point carrying him any further the plan was to do six because Jay was going to find him at the dome and I've seen what's going on online this morning everyone was piling on the points win because that's what I was talking about getting the rounds and then Jay was watching darts now it's piling into round three I could have held up another round and done round four and then what they would have said then do you know what I mean so I'm not really arsed Let's get into that. There's been a lot of talk over social media since the, f the fight that I've seen. People suggesting that your fight was fixed and that you was going to intend on winning in the third round. What did you make of all those comments? I don't really care, to be honest. This, this morning, it's funny actually, because I was sat down there and they were saying, I was on Twitter and someone was saying, oh, it's, it's a fix because uh, he's going to win on points. It's a six-round move around. And, and to be absolutely honest, the plan was a six-round move around. It, it was. Uh, a few of my mates... Oh, my, fr <laughs> my friend right now, they got a lot of money on the points, a lot of money on the points and it uh, didn't come in, but it's not really, you know when you get through the ropes, yeah, I'm not really the kind of guy where you're going to pick a round out, because, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just fucking, I'm not really good enough to pick a fucking round out. Uh, and I hit Dorian Darts with the left duck and it wobbled him, I don't want to hit him in the end, I don't need to. People on Twitter this morning were saying Dorian Darcy is a 50-50, Dave's not fit. I ain't a 50-50, I'm, I'm a fucking strong as a bull. And I'm an hard bastard, I'm heavy handed. So this is with the left hook. I stepped off and it fucking it said come on or something. I'm just smashing around the body and put him over. Like, I don't really have anything to say. I don't care. I ain't lost no money on it and I've not made no money on it. So obviously a successful night for yourself then. How does the rest of this year play out? I'm not sure mate, like a few more like that I hope. I was trying things out with Dorian, get a bit fit, get some sparring, be a bit sharper. But a little, just keep going up the levels gradually, you know. Don't go from darts to Ortiz or, do you know what I mean? In the past I've done uh, Dave Au and then Ortiz and then another journeyman and then another world uh, class fighter. So, just about staying around that level, I say to Eddie, the money I'm getting paid, I'm more than happy with it for what it is. What I got paid for Dorian darts tonight was more than what I got for Luis Ortiz. Do you know what I mean? So... I'm more than happy learning, picking up the money, getting the experience. I've had 25 pro fights, so I'm an experienced pro, but I had 10 amateur fights. Uh, and tonight was the best I've been in terms of a game plan. I was six of the game plan. I was going to do six. And I think I could have done six like that. I think I could have done, mentally in my head, I was thinking, be smart and, and do the rounds because I, the thing is, I either knock out journeyman in a round or I get beat up by top class fighters there's no in between so I was trying to, I'm trying to bridge that gap in the gym and in the ring tonight so yeah before we quickly touch on a couple of the fights on the card just get your thoughts on Dubois Joyce I don't think I had a chance to ask you the other day what are your thoughts on it I think Joyce I think Joyce beats him I think he stops him down down the uh, stretch but it could go either way Dubois chinning him in one round wouldn't surprise me either way but it's a fantastic fight Get your thoughts on a few fights on that undercard tonight. Not the undercard, but on the card tonight. Yeah. Kel Brook for headline fight, defeating Mark DeLuca, your thoughts? I didn't see it, mate. <laughs> Who did you see? Who did you see? I saw uh, Ant and Terry. I'm over the moon for them both. Let's talk about Ant first. What are your thoughts on Ant? Just a great performance, a mature performance. He really he showed his mettle tonight. Uh, a great win. I'm not sure where it puts him, you know, Jenkins and Garten. Jenkins are British starters with Frank Warren. They're not going to be in a rush to put him in with Ant or anyone from Matt Shum, I guess, so, yeah, it's a difficult one, I think, uh, Conor Ben fights the possibility, I think, on the 28th of March, it'd be an exciting fight, it'd be very hard for Conor Conor Ben's a very, very good fighter, but I think that's a good fight. And finally, Terry Harper, you said on Twitter, DN12 finally has a world champion, talk to me about her. Yeah, I got the softest spot for Terry, just the loveliest woman in the world, I'm so happy for her, she was great, she's top class, Wallstrom can fight and Terry beat her easily, you know what I mean, like, Terry... She's, she's too strong and good for these girls. She's amazing. I've I said it for a long time now. She's uh, she's top class. She's really, really good. I'm so proud of her. I'm really happy. Well, Dave, I told you it'd take five minutes. It's been five minutes and 15 seconds. So how are you going to celebrate before I let you go? 
just gonna have a cheese sandwich and a, and a Pepsi now. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, so nothing major. Back in the gym Monday, Jay. We're gonna get Jay a new opponent for the 22nd now. Um, so straight on to that Monday. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he weren't very happy to be honest. But uh, Danny fine Wednesday. Straight back in the gym myself, training, ticking over with these boys. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Well, Dave, congratulations once again. I'll catch up with you soon. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.